Martha. Well, there's something else coming from England this morning. Breakthrough research on a possible new use for stem cells. But listen to this. Backers of stem cell research like to talk about its potential, of course, for curing everything from cancer to Alzheimer's to Parkinson's. But doctors in England say that they are ready to use the technology as a, quote, natural alternative to breast enlargement surgery. Very interesting. Dr. Jennifer Walden is a plastic surgeon specializing in breast augmentation. She joins me now. now uh, just, just take us through this. How does this work? It, it sounds like a great idea, I think, to, to most women who would ever even consider this kind of thing because you're taking fat from the places where you don't want it, mixing it with stem cells, and putting it in places where you do want right. it. Right. It's an appealing idea at face value, but right. there's a controversy surrounding it in the medical community for very good reasons. And that's because stem cells, which are master cells that can duplicate into virtually any organ or tissue of the body, are now being injected with fat into the breast, which, as you know, is a cancer prone organ. Right. One in eight women get cancer. And so when that's done, what we've seen is problems with detecting breast cancer on mammography. We've seen lumps, bumps, infections. Mm -hmm. um, we've even seen the possibility of stem cells veering off course and creating breast cancer cells or emitting signals that mm -hmm. can cause fat cells to mm -hmm. change into breast cancer cells. You know, I, I want to get into that a little bit more, but first of all, let's establish what kind of stem cells we're talking about because stem cells are very controversial. Mm -hmm. Are these the embryonic stem cells or are these taken from the woman's body? No, these are not embryonic stem cells. Okay. That is a totally different ball of wax. And basically, these are adult stem cells. And stem cells can be found in our own body. They're found mainly in the bone marrow, but in other tissues, such as our own fat. And in these procedures, they're taking them from these women, from their Correct. own fat, from their gut or their right. eyes or whatever they from a lipo it, liposuction. It. Right. Yeah. It's a liposuctioned area on your own body. The fat is prepared in such a way that it's centrifuged or it's, it's spun down, and that little, um, that little layer of fat that's rich in stem cells is then injected into the breasts. But that, that may not necessarily do the things they say it's, it's doing. The, the British doc is saying that the fat's going to last longer. It's not going to cause the lumps or bumps, or it's not going to cause breast cancer down the road. But we don't have the clinical data to support that, and it would be a real nightmare in 10 or 15 years for girls to be running around with, one, breasts that have resorbed. Basically, the fat's gone away, but lumps and bumps and things that yeah, can get in the way of mammography. And then there's the other alternative that I read about about and stem cells, you know, continuing to, to grow and create new cells, new fat cells, they could just keep getting bigger and bigger and right. bigger and bigger. Right. And, and, and we've seen that in plastic surgery, injecting <laughs> fat into the face and the hands. Right. Sometimes over time, it even looks puffier and puffier. You can see yeah. that on some celebrities' faces. They look puffier as the, as the years wear yes. on. And so we know that fat cells can duplicate and grow, especially with stem cells. And that would be a very um, bad situation for a surgeon and patient to yeah. have breasts that are growing out of control or Symmetrically. It's a nice vote for aging gracefully. Right. That's what I'm taking away from what you're saying. But right. you know, before you go, let me ask you one question. For women who do have history in their family of breast cancer, I, it's in my family, it's right. in so in many mine families. Should not consider anything along these lines, no, right? No. If for, uh, now, what, let me have a disclaimer. It is okay, and we have found good uses for injecting fat to restore contour problems in women with reconstructed right. breasts right. or in, in women that have had a mastectomy, so the breast tissue is right. gone. And we can monitor that small volume very closely in their imaging and their mammography and surveillance mm -hmm. after getting mastectomy. But that's not what we're talking about. So mm -hmm. for women who have a history of breast cancer, I would say no. I'd say go with the standard very well-known um, technically direct operation of breast augmentation with implants, mm -hmm. which is literally the most studied medical device in the United States, as we know it's long history. All right. Always uh, enlightening to hear what you have to say. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Jennifer. Thank you, Dr. Jennifer Walden, if it sounds too good to be true, just might be. Might be. Right? <laughs> Bill, over to you. <laughs> I think that's what they say, right? And what if they just keep on going? Kidding. Uh, so